once you log in to the Coranza configuration panel, the first thing you will have to do is synchronize your vTiger instance. To do so, you will go to authentication and enter your vTiger information. So the first is vTiger URL, excluding the index, um, username with admin privileges, and the access key, which can be found under my preferences, and all the way to the bottom, access key. Copy and paste it in, and hit connect. Depending on how many records, as far as users, permissions, and fields you have, it might take up to two to three minutes to synchronize, but usually it's about 10 to 20 seconds. Once the data has been imported, you would then refresh the screen to see the summary. So we have number of fields, modules, and active users. Uh, then you would go into the user setup to activate users who will be using the extension. As you click to activate, it will send an email to the user's email address with instructions how to download the extension, install it, and how to connect. Next we have summary view for leads and contacts. The summary view has icons and set of labels to include more information. Um, you will be able to uh, remove the standard fields as well as create new ones and include them into the extension. You can simply add a field, select, add, and select the icon. You can easily create blocks and move fields around. Uh, so again, we have both views for leads and contacts. The next view is a detailed view for a person, which would be either lead or a contact. And again, this view has labels but no icons. And you can include, you can add and remove fields from this panel as well. The same method applies to organizations, calendar activities, as well as opportunities and tickets. In addition, we have search where you will be able to configure the search fields available in the extension. Uh, there's, there's a limit of three fields per module.